and what is the repeated uh, issue that we find out people employed in those institutions come from at least two tribal uh, groups or communities. They take 73%, they take 80%, leaving the rest of the Kenyans to strangle for 15% or maybe 20%. What are we telling our people in Kenya? It is so bad. Impunity. When people refuse to obey code orders, what are we communicating to those young people and all Kenyans looking at us? Corruption. Where, Mr. Speaker, we have new billionaires in town. Since the takeover of the current administration, I hear even in this house we have new billionaires. Where are the rest of Kenyans when we have new billionaires and Kenyans are suffering? And they are billionaires courtesy of corruption. Tendering processes, they are so skilled for specific people to make money. When a few are making money and a majority are suffering, what are we telling Kenyans? That Kenya has become like what we call the animal farm. Mr. Speaker, I would request that uh, you intervene again and request the senators order, to... Order, order, uh, order. Senator Enoch and Senator Mogeni. The senator speaking... Kindly allow me to give my Kenya. submissions and you can, you can continue conversing and making proceed, your arrangements. Proceed, Senator. That's Thank you, sir. Order. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I was saying before I lose my point that uh, corruption is so rampant in this nation and Kenyans are looking at us and saying people are getting into leadership so that they may take advantage of those positions and make money. It is wrong. Kenyans are hurting when they see very few people who become billionaires Well, majority or masses are suffering. Mr. Speaker, Lack of in inclusivity is very serious. As I have stated, where I sit in the Committee of Equal Opportunities, and we see Kenyans not given chance, they are not employed. When there are employment positions or chances, they are given to people from specific ethnic communities. Mr. Speaker, my heart sank when I confronted one, of the, one CEO of a certain institution in this nation. And when I asked her, why do you have only two tribes getting the big junk of positions in this institution? She told me, sometimes, madam, we are under instructions. We are asked, when you do your employment or recruitment, you should know where the government belongs very sad. Mr. Speaker, when the leader of majority, who is now making noise with the Senator for Nyandarwa, kindly allow me to draw your attention, leader of majority. Yesterday you became an angel. I know you are born again. You are new brother in Christ. I really appreciate that majority leader. Kindly allow me to draw your attention that yesterday, or when we were conversing about this, you gave direction that as we speak of the problems and the issues affecting the country, we should also make proposals of what we think should be done to move Kenya forward. Allow me to start by saying, although I know many said it, but I would say the president may be well-meaning, for this nation, but he has missed the mark in getting wrong people in, wrong pos in good positions, those who should serve this country. Mr. Speaker, my first proposal is to request the President, in no due respect, to suck incompetent CSs. Those who have failed this nation, 
those who are carrying letters to funerals, to public rallies, and dishing out employment letters as if the rest of Kenyans do not need employment. And many of those who have also meant us to get fertilizers, which is fake, and other evils. Mr. Speaker, my second one would be to request, if it is possible, not to have ghost workers in this nation. When I hear of a position like prime cabinet minister, unconstitutional, I would declare that he is a ghost worker, drawing suddenly from Kenyan taxes. Unconstitutional offices should not be funded by public funds. To cap, to cap corruption, Mr. Speaker, is my third proposal. Let us be truthful. Let us be truthful. Let the government be truthful. And stop those who are corrupt. Let us see serious action taken. People put to jail. When people, prominent people are put behind the bars, then people will fear, others will fear to practice corruption or to do corruption. Mr. Speaker, I would request, is it possible in this country, and I know I have lawyers in this house, to have designated areas for picketing? Because issues will be happening in this nation. And constitutionally, Kenyans are allowed to picket and to demonstrate peacefully. Can we have designated areas where people can picket. It has been done elsewhere. Can it be done in Kenya, Mr. Speaker? I would also request, is it possible because of police brutality to have retraining of our police officers to know how to handle demonstrators, especially peaceful people who are demonstrating peacefully, like the Gen Z was doing only armed with a bottle of water, a flag, and their phones. Why should they be killed? Mr. Speaker, if not to retrain our officers, can we have a special unit to deal with Mandamano in this nation so that we don't witness bloodshed? Mr. Speaker, if, it were, if the president is to me and to what we are saying, let him suck the Inspector General of Police. Or if Kome is patriotic enough, let him resign now. Senator Beth Siango, just, just, just hold. Can you pause uh, her time, please? Is there a senator listening to some video through their phone? <laughs> senator Boni, you're totally out of order. Totally out of order. I'll just give you a caution for the day. Proceed. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, before I was interrupted by the majority whip, Senator Mboni Alwale, I was saying that if Kohome is patriotic enough, he should resign today because he has failed this nation. Mr. Speaker, my other proposal would be respectively asking the president to continue listening to Kenyans. It is important to listen and not to display tendencies of dictatorship or arrogance. Ken Kenyans are watching. He should be the unifying factor of this nation. All Kenyans, those who voted for him, those who did not vote for him like me, we want to have him as the father figure of this nation, and he should lead all of us, but not to dictate, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, my other proposal would be, if possible, let institutions of this independent to be independent in institutions. We don't want to witness state capture of 
National Assembly State Capture of the Judiciary State Capture of le Legislation. Please let's have independent institutions work and actualize their mandate as independent institutions in this nation. Mr. Speaker, I would propose also, if Kenyans are going to be taxed, can we see the work that money is doing? Why should be people, Mr. Speaker, I can see and hear the voice of Senator of Busia competing with my voice. I don't know what is happening, Mr. Speaker, sir. Senator Omtata, you're interfering with the flow of thoughts of the Senator. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for protecting me. Let the rule of law be followed, Mr. Speaker. And when we give proposals here and suggestions, Mr. Speaker, I would be one of those who really want to see the outcome of what we are doing. Today is the second day in a row when we are debating on this. And the issues we are raising, the issues Kenyans have raised, and Mr. Speaker, the proposals we are giving, we want to know whether it could be just a PR or something is going to be done to, to liberate this country and make sure that we have prosperity and peace moving forward. Mr. Speaker, I would say that as Kenyans and as leaders in this country, we must be responsible. Take responsibility of our actions, our ways, our... Senator Siengo, just one minute to wind up your thoughts. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I would say that um, I know the Gen C had demanded that Ruto must go. I would urge the Gen C to give dialogue a chance, if it will work. But if the president does not listen, does not change, does not implement what we are proposing here, then he must go. Thank you. Senator Mundigi.